An old and shabby antique shop. Someone's eyes observe the old wooden furnitures. His hands touch them as if to feel all details. And in a short instant, the wooden furniture, which would have been a treasure belonging to someone long time ago, becomes deeply remembered in a man's heart. Master artisan Cho Seok Jin has been passing on the art of Korean traditional wooden furniture making for many years. Let's meet his great passion for Korean traditional wooden furniture. This is Cho Seok Jin's house located in Cheonju City, Cheonla Province. The phone rings. He receives an urgent call and hurriedly leaves the house with his apprentice. They are on their way to pick up the tree that will become their raw material to work on. Imported wood is commonly used these days, but Cho Seok Jin insists on using only Korean-born natural wood. To him, finding good wood is more valuable than finding a precious treasure. Uh, Despite such hardships, he still insists on wood from naturally cultivated trees, because only in them you can find the beautiful patterns and colors of wood. Cho Seok Jin explains to his apprentice, who has just graduated from high school, about the beauty of wood from naturally cultivated trees. All his life, Cho Seok Jin has expressed the beauty of Korea's nature on his artworks. He is once again in front of his working table. This is the first step of making a wooden furniture. He is cutting the wood. The artisan only uses wood from naturally cultivated trees that are more than hundreds of years old. It feels as though the spirit of the old tree is looking down upon the artisan as he works. The sawing process is what's next. The workshop fills up with sawdust. The artisan's nose swallows all the dust. It is a lonely and suffocating fight. But this is only the beginning. <laughs> the 
This is the process of planing the cut wood pieces to make them smooth. The artisan is careful with every detail, even to the smallest parts. He has led a life towards only one direction, and now his eyes are focused on only one thing. It is a repetitive and tiresome task. Sweat gathers on the face of the artisan. The more you plane the wood, the more natural the wood pattern appears on the wood. As humans all have different looking faces, trees also have all different wooden patterns. Such unique patterns of wood become means of expressing beauty in Chu Seok Jin's artworks. Now it is the time to carve on the wood. This carving process requires special and perfect concentration. The artisan blows in his spirit into the wood with every carve he makes. With painful strokes, the patterns come alive. With painful times behind him now, his life has also been carved into beautiful patterns. It is a task using sharp knives. That is why his hands are full of small and big scars. He has become used to hurting his hands. However, with his sturdy and rough hand full of scars, he is able to make elaborate and detailed carvings better than anybody else. Wherever his hands have worked on, one can find the subtle beauty of fine lines and curves unique to Korean traditional wooden furnitures. Since the old days, wooden furniture as well as wooden craftwork have been deeply rooted in the everyday lives of the Korean people. From wooden chests to wardrobes, to bookshelves, study tables and various stationary items, there are countless varieties of Korean traditional wooden furniture. Traditional wooden furniture making started developing after the mid-chosen period. They were produced to suit Korea's climate, natural environment, and the unique architectural structures of Korean traditional houses. By taking into consideration Korea's floor-sitting culture, the furnitures were produced to be not so high in height. The wisdom of ancestors to find ways to using space efficiently can be found in the furnitures. The stationary case Mungap, which was an object commonly found in Korean traditional houses, was deliberately made short in height in order to create a beautiful harmony with the chest door. Chu Seok Jin has visited his former teacher's tomb with his apprentice. He goes back 30 years to meet his old teacher in his memories. Ever since learning from his teacher, the student had never stopped working, even as decades passed by. Chagaranimi, 말할 수가 없을 정도예요. 왜 그러냐면은 에, 기술을 배울 적에는 물론 
요즘이야 참 얼마나 편합니까 예, 그때 당시는 참 생업에 종사도 어려웠는데 너무나 그 호전 그 꾸지람이라든지 하시는 말씀이 지금도 귀에 생생하죠. Thinking about the memories of his teacher who passed away 10 years ago, the old man's heart aches. 항상 하는 얘기지만은 부지런해야 돼. 응? 응. 우리가 속담에 부지런한 사람 치고 밥 굶는 사람 없어. With time, he has become like his former master as well. 항상. 어, 상감이라면 즉그 나무와 나무 색깔을 대칭을 맞춰서 역시 다른 나무를 파고 박는 게 상감 기법입니다. 주로 제일로 많이 쓰는 우리 먹감 나무. 즉 검정나무가 되겠죠. 이게 보편적으로 목재가 밝으니까 그게 대칭은 역시 그 먹감나무류가 제일로 좋지 않을까. 막 지금까지 유래도 그런 쪽으로 많이 나와 있고 아주 그 희귀한 부분은 우리 소뼈 있지 않습니까? 그걸 가공해서 쓴 경우도 있습니다. 조석진 is now confident in the sangam method than anybody else. However, it took him many years and much hard work to come to the stage he is in right now. 뭐, 그 자기 그 개인의 어떤 특기는 에, 요즘 보면 은 아주 그 전수를 안 시키려고 들습니다 그래서 저도 이제 어, 비록 그 은사님이 돌아가셨지만 은 돌아가셨지만 은 그분도 역시 마찬가지였어요. 그래서 들은 풍월로 쉬운 예의로 그 어깨너머로 배웠다고 하겠죠. 그 배우는 과정이 상당히 어려웠습니다. 물론 이제 제 자신도 에, 말로만 들었던 상감이기 때문에 내가 실제 안 해보고는 못 온다라는 느낌 가지고 제 나름대로 많이 노력도 하고 또 그러다 보니까 제 나름대로 또 개발한 것도 있고 그래서 A unique pattern is created by inserting a piece of black persimmon tree wood between the two other pieces of wood. The pattern is so smooth, it seems as though it has been drawn in with hands. For this perfection, there have been many failures and hard times of endurance behind. Early morning, lights turn on in Cho Seok Jin's room. He looks at the pictures he took while going around several antique shops and makes sketches of the antique wood furnitures. Instead of being content with what he has, Cho displays an attitude of continuously researching and challenging himself to new things. Such an attitude was what made Cho Seok Jin what he is today. He is never satisfied with the work he does. He raises harsh whips against his own self, and he rarely accepts mistakes from himself. This is what I think is wrong. I think I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong. 요건 뭐 내가 생각할 필요성이 있고 요건 완전히 잘못된 거 이게 이게 좀 아쉽고 요건 잘 됐는데 여기 반대로 이거 내가 왜 이렇게 생각했나 이걸 어, 이거 잘 보는 것 같은데 이거 좀 아쉽구만 이 물리결이 안 맞으니까. In Cho Seok Jin's work, the natural patterns of the wood are alive. They are not artificially made. but seem as if nature was recreated in his work. Through the efforts of the artist, Korea's traditional culture is able to stay alive. In Cho Seok Jin's work, his unique passion is embedded. We 
우연치 않게 그모 방송국에 그 한번 그본 결과에 그 전주장이 아주 신기 신기한 게 나와 가지고 그 방송국에 연락해서 실제 소장자를 만나봤습니다. 근데 실 소장자도 서울에 계시는데 전주 분이시고 그 장롱을 보니까 약한 200여 년 전에 그 나왔던 장롱인데 뭐 아주 요즘 그 보기 드문 장롱이었어요. 그래서 너무나 그 장롱이 좋아가지고 제가 그걸 복원을 한번 한 일이 있습니다. Traditional Korean House Experience Center located in Kyodong, Jeonju City. You can feel artisan Cho Seok Jin's touch in this place of traditional atmosphere. The wooden furnitures here have all been made by his hands. His work, which reproduces Korean traditional furniture as they were in the old days, blend in naturally with the traditional Korean houses. 제가 그 어려서 그 기능 경기 대회를 출전했는데 어떻게 이상하게 그 재소자하고 같이 경기를 했어요? 그래서 그런 계기로 해서 그 교도소 인연을 맺어가지고 기능 지도를 했는데 실질적으로 그 재소자들이 나와서 성공한 사례도 많고 또 지금도 에 역시 각종 기능 경기 대회 입상한 그 재소자가 많이 있습니다. 그래서 이런 것들이 나한테는 큰그 어떤 보람도 느끼고 그분들도 뭔가 저한테 배우고자 하는 욕심이 있었고 그래서 약한 20한 5년간을 지금 다니고 있죠. The workshop of his disciple who learned from him for 20 years. The sharp eyes of the master found a flaw in the disciples' work. The 그래서 아마 오늘날 제가 여기 작은 공방이라도 할수 있지 않느냐 저는 이렇게 생각이 듭니다. 이리 보자. 이 상체가 다 증표잖아, 증표. 그지? 네. 이쪽. The master caresses the scarred and hurt hands of his disciple. If someone can become happy with the skills he has, Cho Seok Jin can feel rich only with that. Artisan displays great passion for his work without losing his concentration for not even a second. The shape of the wooden furniture slowly begin to appear.
with final care to details even to the smallest parts. The masterpiece of the artisan is finally completed. Chu Sok Jin's wife sees him off as he leaves the house. It seems as though he will be making a trip to far away. The place he visited was located in Chunghwadong, Seoul. It is the house of his former teacher, who had taught him 30 years ago when he competed in the Skills Olympics. His former master has become 80 years old. The disciple has made a gift for his teacher himself. <laughs> the gift Cho Seok Jin gave was a doksal, which is a tool used to make beautiful patterns on traditional Korean rice cake. 교수님 편지가 두 장이 나왔어요. 아, 그거 내가 쓴 건데. 이게 몇 년도에 한 거야, 이게? 아마 70 1974년도 하나 들 거예요. 예. 그러면 뭐한 30년은 예, 예. 작업을 하는 데서 제일 중요한 문제가 책임감입니다. 책임감. 책임감하고 이제 건명성하고 이게 제일 그 중요한 문제인데 내가 보건 데는 상당히 건면하고 부지런하고 또 책임성이 상당히 강해요. 건강 관리 식초 많이 드세요. Two letters that were deeply kept in the closet for many years. The student and teacher meet again in their faded memories. 항상 전국대 심사 가시면은 그 식초 꼭 컵에다가 회식하셔가지고 아침에 그 전에 좀 먹다가 아이고 뭐 먹기 귀찮다. Before his student entered the contest of competing in the Skills Olympics. The teacher had written a letter to his student to encourage him. The once young student has now turned 50 years old. The two people who met with beautiful destiny. Today, they make another beautiful day of memory in each other's lives. After having walked one same path for 30 years, his efforts were recognized with the title of Master Artisan. However, there is still a dream Zhou Zakchin could not yet attain. Uh, 또 하나는 우리 목가구 제작은 어떤 체계화된 그 준비가 되어 있지 않다고 보고 있습니다. 그래서 이걸 도면 설계화 해가지고 많은 후학들이 볼수 있는 작업에 필요치 않을까 해서 이걸 좀 정리를 한번 하고 싶다는 마음이 있습니다. Age 50, he still has much time left in his life. And to make his dream come true, he stands in front of his work table again. His uncooling burning passion slowly melts into his works of art.